Well, it was a unique recruiting process, and here's a story on that kid who's been around Panther men's basketball from a very young age, former Larry Bird Player of the Year, A.J. Green. UNI Basketball's A.J. Green has constantly been striving to become the best player possible. When last season resulted in only three games played and two hip surgeries, his focus quickly dialed in on getting his body not just back to where it was, but to a spot it's never been. I feel much stronger on the court and moving much better. Uh, and I've just noticed that in practice, whether it's around the rim or just my second step and creating space feels a lot better. But. As winner of the 2020 MVC Larry Bird Player of the Year Award, then missing a year, it was unknown if AJ would be the same player. In games five and six of this season, he answered the unknown with back-to-back 30-point -back performances, including 35 and a UNI win over 16th ranked St. Bonaventure. I'd say the best thing that I noticed about his game is just his pace. Um, it's so advanced, um, even at this level, the Division One level, it's crazy just to see you know, how he can pick apart defenses. Um, and so his game has, has improved. And obviously last year sitting out with the injury um, gave him a good chance to, to learn the game as well um, and continue to learn um, and continue to better himself. AJ's averaging over 18 points per game, shooting over 40% from the floor. He's expanded his game with strength and knowledge, making him tougher to handle in the lane. I mean, his game really is undescribable, if you ask me. I mean, he can just do so many things, uh, whether that's passing, scoring. Defensively, he's gotten a lot better. His game has just evolved, and it's just, this. there's no limit on A.J. Green. There never will be. With, when A.J.'s on the court, it helps everybody. It's He's probably going to attract their best defender, so guys like Bowen with Bowes can get more open shots, Trey's can get more open shots. Um, if I'm in a post-up, blowing the block, they're less likely to double off AJ. When AJ won Conference Player of the Year as a sophomore, he called it a team-wide honor. But a bigger team honor is what AJ is still striving for, an NCAA tournament qualification. He likes this team's chances to win three games in St. Louis and make the big dance. That's the goal since I've been here, and we haven't made it happen yet. We've been close, but I know this team uh, has the pieces to do it, so I can promise you we're going to keep working and do everything we can to play in more than one, more than two NCAA tournament games this year for sure.